What do the Conservatives offer Canadians? A cartoon, a talking grease pot. When and to impose a multi-billion dollar tax on just about everything for Canadians, even while gas prices are going up, he wants to force them higher with higher taxes in order to pay for the billions of dollars of unbudgeted liberal electoral promises. Mr. Speaker, we know that it's a tax trick on Canadians, and we're not going to let the Liberals get away with it when they use weasel words like revenue neutrality, Mr. Speaker. We're going to just a little bit of anxiety on the other side. Mr. We have been David Hurley, you'll recognize that name, the former campaign chair for the Liberal Party, who conducted the survey, Mr. Speaker, unequivocally states, and let me quote, Dual marketing is the preference amongst farmers for barley marketing. If they cannot have a dual market, most would prefer an open market to a single desk. Very show a growing number of Western Canadian farmers want barley marketing freedom. Therefore, on behalf of those farmers, Mr. Speaker, I seek unanimous consent for the following motion. Act, election of directors, when the bill is next. And agri-food have unanimous consent. There is no consent. Uh, the Honourable Mr. Speaker, and I would like to at this time make the... Uh, standard motion that can be made only today uh, that pursuant to standing order 27 sub 1 commencing on monday june 9th 2008 and concluding on thursday june 19th 2008 the house shall continue to sit until 11 p.m in answer to the thursday statement this is we have work to do week to kick off the week we are introducing the customary motion to extend the daily sitting hours of the house for the final two weeks of the spring session this is a motion which is so significant there is actually a specific standing order contemplating it because it is the normal practice of this House come this point in the parliamentary cycle that we do additional hours and sit late to conduct business. In fact, since 1982, when the House adopted a fixed calendar, such a motion has never been defeated. Has, uh, has tried its very best to portray the opposition as as the villains that are, uh, that are in some way delaying uh, the work of, uh, of this parliament as appears on the order paper. I can't work harder. What is the point, Mr. Speaker, to not allowing this House to move and work a little harder for Canadians? What's wrong with that? And again, I point out, if you have a majority government and you still need to spend the sitting hours, that means that this is something that should be taken seriously. That's right. Unfortunately, we have a situation here when we introduce the same motion that has passed for 26 straight years, every opposition party in this place is now saying no. In favor of the motion, please rise. Mr. Kamuzi. Mr. Kamuzi. Mrs. Skelton. Mr. Skelton. Ms. Oda. Ms. Oda. Mr. Thompson, New Brunswick Southwest. Thompson, New Brunswick Southwest. Mr. O'Connor. Mr. Dion. Mr. Dion. Mr. Volpe, Mr. Bevilacqua, Mr. Bevilacqua, Mr. Ducep, Mr. Ducep, Mr. Craig, Mr. Craig, Mr. Paquette, Mr. Paquette, and Mr. Layton, Mr. Layton, Mr. Mulcair, 114, nays contre 139. Je déclare la motion. I declare the motion defeated. Of the motion will please rise. Mr. Harper. Mr. Kamuzi! Mrs. Skelton! All those opposed to the motion will please rise. Mr. Dion! Mr. Dion! Mr. Volpe! Mr. Volpe! Mr. Bevilacqua! Mr. Bevilacqua! Ms. Guarnieri! Guarnieri! Ms. Mina! Ms. Mina! Mr. Karagiannis! Mr. Karagiannis! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Madame Polko! Mr. Baines! Mr. Baines! Mr. Poo! Mr. Turner! Mr. Turner! Ms. Scrow! Mr. Scrow! Mr. Dossange! Mr. Dossange! Mrs. Barnes! Ms. Brown Oakville! Mr. Brown Oakville! Ms. Stronach! Mr. Wapel! Mr. Wapel! Mr. Ma